I got I'll, Wilkin. I'll, I'm sorry. Well, Marlon, just uh, how did it feel to come out there with a win on Saturday, man? I know y'all turned the ball over some quarterback-wise, but just how did it feel to get a win? Uh, as far as the turnovers, you know, we can, those are correctable things. You know, just can't beat ourselves. You know, because later on in the season, that could, you know, affect us real bad, you know, real bad or whatever. So we just can't, you know, dwell on the past and we just got to keep going, keep our heads up. For you getting back out there, uh, you know, after the, the traffic accident and everything, how's that been? Getting back to 100%? It's been good. I mean, hey, life happens, um, you know, things happen. So just keep working, stay in the, you know, rehab, stay in the training room, just keep working. We have some of the best trainers, so I've been in and out of there, you know, just keep going. You had to get some extra carries the other night when Bond went down. How's your body feeling after Saturday? Oh, it's feeling good. I mean, you strain in practice so the game could be easy. You know what I'm saying? Because if you strain it during the week, your body will be used to it already instead of, you know, you just kind of going through the motions during the week and then you trying to run full speed on Saturday. Then your body not accustomed to it. So if you just work hard during the week, then you'll be good on Saturday. Where do you feel like, you know, you're at right now health loss, like percentage, percentage loss? Uh, I mean, I say, I say about about ninety five percent. Yeah, I'm all, I'm almost back to a hundred. You know, knees still be kind of messing with me a little bit, but you know, ain't nothing to it. I'm still going. You know what I'm saying? It's day by day. And then catching the ball in the backfield had a big play there. What was that like? Kind of making an explosive play and everything. It wasn't scripted. Yeah. <laughs> it was just one of those you know intrusive thought things. Like I thought the wheel back was finna blitz, so I had stepped up. He didn't blitz, so I'm like, let me get out right quick because you know that open eyes for the quarterback. He just dumped it right out to me. You know, everybody talks about running backs when y'all carry the ball, but I mean, y'all have so much more responsibility in the passing game. Like, how much, how much do you have to work on that versus just running with the football? You got, you got to pay attention to you, you know your rotation, your safety rotation. You got to know when this guy finna be there. You know when he gonna show up, how late he gonna get there. You got, you got to see all that. It's so much to see in a, like split second because offense so fast. App State had a tough game on Saturday against Clemson, but what's standing out to you for the Mountaineer defense? Uh, just how hard they play, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, they came out to play. You know, at the end of the day, we got to bring our best game, you know. Like like you said earlier, the turnovers, we can't have those, you know what I'm saying? That might cost us this game. You just never know. Sounds like it'll be a big crowd, maybe close to a sellout, if not a sellout. What does that mean to you guys? Next game, that the, the crowd, you know, we're real thankful for the fans, but, you know, we here to play for us, you know what I'm saying? We ECU, our last name ECU, we got to represent for us, you know what I'm saying? For, with App, I mean, they've. I know you weren't here in 21, but they've beaten these two twice in a row. Is there any extra motivation this week, or is it just the, the next game? Uh, according to Roger, he said he hadn't beat him since he'd been here. So, yeah. you know, I, I guess, it's, you know, his last year is real kind of personal for him. You know, Big Tay and those guys, you know, it may be real personal for those guys, you know, being at that state last year. So we got to go out and get a win for them. How's the mindset of the team after going 2-0? You don't want to get too high. You want to enjoy being 2-0, but it's one game at a time, right? Yeah, one game at a time. You want to know for the week, you know what I'm saying? So right now we 0-0 zero zero this week. You know, it's a new week. Go want to know this week. How are you liking this new offense overall? Just the, the you know, getting used to the tempo and everything. <laughs> Got to be in shape for it. <laughs> like, I really, like, appreciate our whole line, like, so seriously because – they in shape, so you know, makes us they get a push off the line, which makes us get those extra yards and we got you know, plus two mentality. So by the time we get get a rough the ball, the next play in, so you gotta be in shape for it. If you're not in shape, it's gonna be a real long game for you.